everyone, it's Matt. And if you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you are experiencing some very painful, highly charged, intrusive thoughts about your girlfriend's sexual past. These thoughts bother you so greatly that it truly is all you can even think about. You try to rationalize it in your mind, ask her questions, you know, to get clarification, or maybe even look around Facebook or social media or inside her phone to get answers or to get some relief. I know exactly what you are going through. In fact, this same struggle I experienced for nearly 13 years of my life, and it is a condition known as retroactive jealousy. And, well, it sucks. <laughs> There's really no other way to describe it. It sucks because I believe most of us want to be okay with our girlfriend's past. We want to be okay and just feel good again, but we simply can't. And these thoughts come up sometimes when we least expect it and just destroy our day and suck the life out of us. Now, with all that being said, though, as nasty as retroactive jealousy can be, there is, in fact, a way out. And while it took me nearly 13 years to find it, I'm happy to say I am completely free of the clutches of retroactive jealousy. And I can now think about my girlfriend's past, who, by the way, is now my wife, and I experience no anxiety, no bothersome emotions, no anger, no sadness, nothing. There is no pain whatsoever when I think about it. So what took me 13 years to discover, I want to share with you in this short video. So please stick around until the end to save you a lot of pain and hardship and potentially save your relationship as well. Now, before we jump in, if you could just take a quick moment and go ahead and smash the like button. This will help with YouTube's algorithm and not only support this channel's growth, but also help get this video out to more people that really need to see it. So I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And one more thing, again, this video will be regarding what is known as retroactive jealousy. Again, that is when you get jealous, anxious, and you know uneasy feelings about your girlfriend's sexual past that you cannot seem to stop thinking about. As in, again, you think about it 24 seven. <laughs> so if you are bothered by your girlfriend's past because like you found out she cheated on all her ex-boyfriends and lied in every relationship she's been in and now you feel like she may be doing the same thing to you, then that's a whole different topic. Um, and I won't get into that, but it may be time to you know sit down with your girlfriend and figure out if you know, you're know you both on the same page. Um, so just keep that in mind. This video will not be about that. Um, and that is a complete different subject entirely. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first steps of relief when it comes to retroactive jealousy is a little bit uncomfortable and takes a little bit of vulnerability. Okay, you have to take full responsibility for yourself feeling this way. It is completely an internal game, okay? It has everything to do with yourself and nothing to do with your girlfriend. Your girlfriend's past is her right. It's her business. And as much as your ego doesn't want to admit it, it cannot be changed. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Again, it doesn't matter if, you know, your girlfriend just kissed one dude in her past and that bothers you, or if she had like 30 one night stands back to back to back and that bothers you. It was her right to do that. And the only reason it bothers you is something you have going on on your inside, okay? If you are unwilling to admit that, if you are unwilling to come to terms with the fact that this is a you problem, then it's best to let your girl go so she can go be with someone who will love her for all that she is then, now, and in the future. Now, I wanna read you this little note, and I found this uh, several years ago on Reddit, and it's a fictional note that some other guy is writing to you about your girlfriend. And the first time I read this, uh, it really lit a fire inside me and really made me want to start changing and tackling this issue head on. So I'll go ahead and read it to you and see what you think. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hello there. If you don't stop what you are doing, you are going to lose your girl. Then I am going to start dating her. I won't care about her sexual past because I have one of my own. In fact, I'm very experienced. 
That is a reason she likes me. She knows I don't care about how many guys she's been with, which was such a downer in her relationship with you. The sex is amazing, and I love being with her. Sexually, she has opened up to me like nobody before because she now feels so free after her experience with you. I appreciate her for the great time she is giving me now, which is all that is important. I know she had sex with a ton, but I don't care. She is an amazing woman and she is mine now. All right, so that wraps up the note. Now, I believe there's a lot of power in that and honestly, a lot of truth in it. Your girlfriend could probably go find somebody else and chances are that person wouldn't care what they did in their past. So if you are willing to, you know, swallow your pride a little, shut off that little egoic voice in your head and really start making changes in your life, then you can save yourself and save your relationship. Firstly, you need to stop punishing your girlfriend for her past. This is absolutely the worst thing you can possibly do. Punish them and make them feel bad about what they did. Punishing also means, you know, asking them questions like, why would you do such a thing? Or how many times did you do this? Or where did this take place? Again, these are all forms of punishment and no answer she gives you is going to make you feel any better. None. It's going to make matters worse. In fact, a lot of my previous relationships ended because I would press and press and press for answers and explanations about their past so much that they got fed up with me and just left. And there I was the whole time thinking it was something that they did and they were in the wrong. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I was in the wrong. So a huge key in you finding relief is to just stop, just stop all this. Stop punishing them. Stop asking questions. Stop digging for answers on Facebook and social media. Stop going through their phone. All of this is toxic behavior and only adds more fuel to that burning jealousy fire inside of you. The minute you stop all of that and begin to deliberately focus on other things using your willpower, the sooner you'll start teaching your brain that there is no danger in thinking these thoughts and you won't have so much anxiety around them anymore. See, right now, every time you think a thought of your girlfriend's past, your brain senses danger, so it floods your body with adrenaline. It's this adrenaline that gives you the anxious and painful feeling. So it's not the actual thought of your girlfriend's past that bothers you. It's the adrenaline, it's the emotionally charged response to the thought that bothers you. See, these are two completely different things. But you see, if your brain stops sending the adrenaline when you think about these thoughts, well then simply put, the thoughts won't bother you anymore. That's exactly what I did, that's exactly what I had to do. I treated this condition as obsessive compulsive disorder, as OCD. See, when we get these thoughts that don't sit well with us, we feel the need to get back to feeling good as fast as possible. So we do a compulsive behavior. We punish our girlfriend. We ask questions. We do all sorts of different rituals. And all that does is give us a temporary relief. And then suddenly we are right back to where we started. But even worse than we were before. The only really known way to overcome OCD is to not give in to your compulsive behaviors. When you reframe from that, you start teaching your brain that there is no danger in thinking these thoughts and it can save all that adrenaline for when your body really needs it, like when you are in actual danger. <laughs> so make a commitment to yourself right now that no matter how badly you want to do it, you will stop doing these compulsive behaviors. You'll stop looking for that temporary relief and you'll sit with that discomfort and unknown for a little bit. You'll start seeing that the more you just sit with that feeling, the more you just sit with that emotion and don't do anything, the emotion actually naturally goes away on its own. It'll do that every single time. And the more you do this, the more you cut off the power and the energy to these thoughts. And pretty soon they will be psh, nothing. And I wanna share with you uh, something I've shared in other videos before, but it's absolutely crucial to understand. It's absolutely crucial to understand if you want your girlfriend's past to no longer bother you. 
you need to understand that on an emotional level, there isn't anything anybody in the world can give you that you can't give yourself already. The love, the reassurance, the happiness, the satisfaction, the completeness, whatever it is, it can all be found in here already. There is no need to go anywhere to find it. So suffering from this type of jealousy, suffering from these bothersome thoughts of, of your girlfriend's past means you are putting way too much energy into your girlfriend, way too much. Pretty much you are saying they are your everything. They complete you. How could you possibly live without them? No, no, no. Okay, and that's different from what society tells us. Society makes a relationship almost seem like a crutch, right? That we need that other person to hold us up or we'll just fall flat on our face. But no, a healthy, vibrant, attractive, long-lasting, incredible, non-jealousy-ridden relationship is something like this. I am happy with my life. I don't need anything else to complete it. But hey, if you want to come into my life and hang out and you know intertwine with what I already got going on, then that's perfect. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, that's okay. You know, there's something else better for me out there and it's all good. I know that we can both be happy just going our separate ways. Okay, now a lot of you might be going, whoa, and might, you know, be confused at that, not have heard that before, but there is so much power in that, so much power. And this is not saying that you don't care, you don't love, you know, your girlfriend. It's simply just saying that your girlfriend cannot give you anything that you can't already find in yourself. And that's a fact. Life is an internal game. If you get the inside right, you get everything else right. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you. If that doesn't sound like something you can do, if you get embarrassed or repulsed by the, by the idea of telling yourself I love you, then you have a lot of work to do because that needs to be your first priority all the time is to get up every morning and confidently say I love you to yourself, to be happy and complete being you to be eager to share that completeness with someone else, but not attach to this idea that your relationship is somehow completing your life or is your ultimate goal in life. Okay, your goal is self-love. If you achieve self-love, everything else falls into place perfectly around you. And then that retroactive jealousy has no way of making its way into your life. In other words, You'll be breathing freely and experiencing life and your relationship in peace and harmony that you've been seeking. So again, take personal responsibility for all of this. Understand that these jealous thoughts, these bothersome thoughts, this is a you problem, okay? It's not anything your girlfriend did. Stop asking the question. Stop looking for the answer. Stop punishing your girlfriend or doing anything to find a temporary relief. When you do this, this will begin teaching your brain to stop releasing so much adrenaline into your body. And finally, take some of that focus and energy you got going into your girlfriend and place it on yourself. This is the key to long-term happiness in your relationship and in your life as well. And once you've conquered this, your retroactive jealousy will die for Ever. So I hope this video helped you out today. If you enjoyed it, please support this channel and go ahead and smash that like button. Also, please take the time to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Click the notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. And also, if you tend to suffer from those intrusive, unwanted thoughts about your girlfriend's past, please feel free to check out the links in the description below for my seven day Road to Freedom Retroactive Jealousy Accelerator Program. All the information is below. You can sign up today. I'll give you one lesson and one, one video lesson and one activity every single day for the next seven days to give you all the ammunition you need to take down retroactive jealousy once and for all. So thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.